a lot of dead pines through here. So aside from sap, you know, I might be able to find some fat wood around here, which is really what I'm going for right now. And some of these have fallen down pretty recently, so they haven't started. The sap wood hasn't decomposed away yet. So when you're looking for fat wood, uh, of course, looking at an area that has dead pines or pines in general is kind of your first step. It's not only found in pines, but it's most prominent in pines. Uh, and red pines especially, uh, which is the variety that I'm seeing the most of around here, longleaf pine is in the red pine family. There are a lot of dead pines knocked down here. Uh, so if you think about a tree, it has this vascular system, it's pumping basically the resin throughout the tree uh, out to the branches and what happens is that tree dies at some point so just like a person uh, it the blood begins to pool so think of the sap the resin as the blood of the tree uh, so whenever it dies and it you know it doesn't only happen on lightning strikes or whatever it's just whenever the tree dies everything that was in those branches begins to pool down at the base of the trunk and a lot of that will collect down into the very bottom and into the roots. So depending on what stage of death and decomp uh, decomposition you find that tree in will kind of depend on where that fat was going to be located. Uh, so two great examples here. Uh, you've got dead standing pines that are around. Uh, I'm not even going to worry about those. So chances are at the lower branches I could cut those right off against the trunk and there's going to be fat wood there in a red pine. Um, these ones on the ground are pretty easy pickings. Uh, this one here, the, what will happen is the, the resin is going to be in the heartwood in the center and in these little branches, these knots, right up against that tree, uh, depending on when it died and whether it fell first or was standing and then eventually fell over. So this sapwood will start to decompose like this. You can see it's getting a little soft here, still pretty hard here. And that sapwood will decompose off and the resinous preserved portions in the center uh, a lot of times will be preserved and it'll decompose at a much slower rate <coughs> excuse me so this is still pretty hard this sapwood so this tree hasn't been down all that long it would be a lot more effort to get to the fat wood that's in here uh, so i'm not going to bother with this one if you look at this tree here I can see that it's starting to decompose a lot more. All right, so this is at a, this has been out here decomposing a lot longer. So this is a lot better candidate. And it's starting to wear away down to that core. So it'd be easier to get to the fat wood there in the center. I also know that at whatever was in this larger branch is probably collecting right here at the base and maybe two to three inches up here. So uh, there should be some fat wood right there. Uh, so that's a good example. Uh, and there would be probably fat wood like that at every one of those branch junctions of something that I can get to pretty easily. So let's see what we've got in there. I'm gonna cut that branch off real quick. And typically it won't be you know, further than two to three inches up after the tree dies. So I'll go ahead and get rid of that. It was pretty soft. Uh, so I'm expecting it to be here. I'm gonna cut that as close as I can. There we go. I don't know, it feels pretty soft. Not much in there. So with that, instead of going through and, and actually trying to cut all these other branches, what probably happened with this one is it probably knocked down while it was still alive. Uh, so not everything is collecting in here. So this is probably not a very good candidate for finding fat wood in because that is all soft and punky. So the portion that's actually preserved in resin might be that section right there no so 
So this one is definitely not a good candidate. I'm not going to spend a lot of time with it. Uh, so what I'll look for is more of these downed trees that actually have the sapwood weathered away even further than this and see if we can find some fat wood in those. All right, so this is a perfect example of what we're looking for as far as fat wood. Here's some smaller kind of blade core and this part is solid and you have all these little knots that are coming off of it. So all of this sapwood has decomposed completely off and what you're left with is the stuff that is preserved by the resin. So this entire piece and all these little cores are fatwood. Let's take a look inside there. So very similar to that, we have this on a larger scale with this truck, and this thing is so solid, it's almost immovable. And this is all rock solid here because all the sapwood is decomposed away. That's what this stuff is here. So that tells me that this entire piece here is preserved. This is all fat wood right here. So a couple things that you can do, you can break off one of the cores and take a look at that. Well, that is solid. This is going to be a good one. Let me get my saw. That is solid. Let's cut this one here. I can already smell the resin and see that sticky sawdust coming out of it. Now look at that. Wow, solid. Yeah, that's a really good one. So that means that all of these cores, all of this is all fat wood and all these little blades here will also be fat wood. Let's see if we can get one of those started. Yep, give us a smaller piece to take back to camp. That is really dense stuff. Get that going. Now yeah, that in its entirety is fat wood. So fat wood is good for fire starting. So it's, it's basically pine sap that's infused in the wood. This is part of the heartwood of the tree. Uh, and it's really good, this dust here, they'll package and sell as Maya dust, but that is just fat wood dust that takes a spark, uh, takes a light, whatever you have, and it, it burns really well, burns for a long time. So it's, it's a good wet weather tinder resource to learn. Uh, typically you find it in most abundantly in red pines, but I have found it in cypress. Uh, I found it in some yellow pine, and a little bit in the white pines, but the red pine is known for it. Uh, this particular one was probably based on the species that are around here was probably a longleaf pine which is a red pine family uh, so outstanding resource for wet weather fires no this is a good find there's probably over 100 pounds of fat wood just in this log that's enough to last you a lifetime this is the piece i want <laughs> wouldn't be a survival film if we don't baton